Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Fred's Garage. So, yesterday I used my first Ford Pass account um, points, and uh, it couldn't have been any easier. But for you guys that don't know, uh, when you buy a new Ford vehicle or you have a Ford credit card or something, you you accumulate Ford Passes. With this Maverick, I got forty-two thousand Ford Pass points, and that comes out to about two hundred and ten dollars or so. So I had all these points, and I'm not really sure how to use them or, or what. So what I did was I just called my Ford's parts dealer, told him what I wanted to buy. He looked up, looked me up by my um, email address, and um, boom, two or three days later, my parts was there, and I, I, he deducted it from my Ford Pass. Um, so guys who are following the channel might know that um, we just picked up a Maverick Hybrid XL. It's the most inexpensive. You get almost everything that the XLT comes with. Um, you upgrade your wheels and rims like we did already. And uh, the only thing that was really a hindrance on the XL was that it didn't have cruise control. But with 2023, now they have cruise control standard. So it's really all you could ask for. So being that it is an XL, there was a couple of things you have to do, right? So, I got some takeoffs from a Bronco. You see from the previous video and the beginning of this video. And um, a Bronco Sport. And uh, they're beautiful. They fit on it nice and it's perfect. The other thing that I really wanted is I really love that, that little storage box in the bed. That the XLT and the Lariat come with. And the XL doesn't come with. So, like I said, I used my Ford Pass points. I called my Ford dealer, local one, not the Ford dealer where I bought the truck. And uh, within two days, everything was there. So I got a storage box for the bed. It was $43. And we used my Ford Pass points, and it, they used 9,200 points for it. So of the 42,000, they took 9,200. So let's open the bed. Let's show you how to put it in. Let's see what came in the box because I haven't opened it yet. Oh, and by the way, I did do one other really quick upgrade yesterday. I'll show you right now. For me, it works perfect because this truck's mainly going to be used for going to the beach or grabbing light stuff. You know, we're not putting mulch and stuff in the back. If you look, I got this nice impact mat for the Ranger. It fits perfect. The only problem is, is in this Florida sun, it's extremely hot but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you in close so you can take a real good look at it real quick and then uh, we'll go from there here she is the impact man what I did too is I tucked it underneath this crease here of the back of the bed I just took you just take these out I tucked it in underneath I made holes with a soldering iron and I put them all right back in this is just a probably a quarter inch here but right here it's like the least an inch and it's very soft very nice like Matt I got it from Amazon the one for the Maverick is about 160 to 180 dollars but I'm I'm cheap so what I did was I put in impact mat I went under the settings and I put in price lowest to high and I found this one was from for a 2017 Dodge Ram and uh, I figured, hey, if it fits a Dodge Ram, we just trim it down a little bit. It'll definitely fit a Maverick. This one was only $56. So this whole mat was $56. It trimmed real easy with a razor blade. And um, all I had to do was make a little template out of um, poster board. So I got everything nice, put it on uh, the bed mat, and trimmed it up. So $56 instead of $160 or $180. So do that. As long as the bed or whatever truck you're buying it from is bigger than the Mavericks, which is basically every truck in America, <laughs> you can trim it down. It worked out good for me. You just have to have a straight hand. So here's the box. Let's open it up and see what's in there. There she is. Perfect little cutty cabin. Can't beat that for $42, honestly. I might get another one for the other side. Opens up. Got the little 
storage container. Now I can put my straps, gloves, stuff I don't really need in the cab. Perfect. Okay. Let's swap her out. I'll bring you over and we'll, we'll switch her out. So this little um, storage box can fit either the left side or the right side. It's whatever side you need. It does have six bolts and that plate we're taking off only has four so I'll have to go get two more bolt, bolts somewhere. But let's see how easy it is to replace, okay? These four bolts are 10 millimeter so you would need a 10 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter ratchet, okay? I happen to have this little impact, I'm using this. So let's whip it off real quick and see what happens. One, two, three, four. So right here I have a ratchet with a T30 Torx. I'm not sure if I have to take this uh, tie down off or not. But if we do, I have a ratchet with a T30. And if you're going to buy a new Bronco, new Maverick, a lot of the bolts are Torx bolts probably good to get yourself a good set of Torx bits if you're going to do anything. All right, come on out. There it is. That's all it is. A piece of plastic. We'll save it. We'll reuse that somewhere. Hey, let me show you in there. Just the inside of the fender. There's some um, wires and it just goes straight down. I think you can see all the way down to the ground, really. There's the wheel well. There's the back. Hmm. It's just a huge hole. Alright. Let's throw her in. See if she fits without taking that cleat out. No, like I thought. We gotta take that cleat out. I got my ratchet and my teeth during my extension. But you know what? Why work harder when you can work faster? But if you don't have this stuff, just use the ratchet. It'll take you a few more minutes. I'm just gonna put the T30 on this. And we're gonna take it off. Alright, two T30s and a little strap. Alright, now that we have that off, let's grab our little bin, toss her in there, fits like a glove. We're going to hand tighten the four bolts, and like I said, I got to get two more bolts. Nice to have. All right, let's put our tie down back in. Real simple. You got it started by hand. Always start bolts by hand. You don't want to cross thread anything. Done. $43 option that you're going to love. So let's see. We're going to open her up. We're going to take this out, and what we're going to do, we're going to get my bag of straps, the bag of straps, so when I need a strap, I have it, that's going, that's going in there, I'm also going to throw a pair of inexpensive gloves, because if I got to change a tire, or do something, or grab some old wood or something, whatever, I don't want to do it with my hands, throw those in there, let's put this back in, Let's put that. Done project. So I might get another one for that side. I mean for 43 bucks. 
might be a good idea. The one thing that the Bronco LX doesn't have that the XLT Lariats come with a front bed uh, tie downs. So that's another project I'm going to do. I'll show you real quick. If you see in the front bed there, in the corners, there's no tie downs on the bed. Those come in handy. On the floor of the bed, one on the left there and one on the right, and it'll also help hold down the mat. I'm gonna put a picture up of the uh, part number for that bin. So um, if you wanna call your Ford dealer, you'll have the part number. If I didn't have the part number, he wasn't really sure what I was talking about. It made it so much easier. So here's the picture of the part number. I also have a tonneau cover coming in a few days, so we'll do that. And uh, maybe we'll put some lighting. We're either gonna put another box on that side or we'll wire in some kind of lighting and some um, 12 volt plugs since we have the, the wiring already there. All right, guys, well, hey. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, the notification button. Uh, we got more videos to come. And like I said, if you anybody out there has any questions about the Maverick Hybrid or the Bronco, um, leave it in the comments. I'll do a video on it. I'll reply to you. And uh, no matter what it is. So uh, you guys keep having a great day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right? Take, up, take care.